Hi, my name's Rochelle Grubbs, and I'm a Big Data Solutions Architect. Thanks for spending a few minutes today to check out my YouTube video. Today I've been uh, taking a look at uh, MarkLogic and playing around with the Application Builder. And uh, we're going to use the Application Builder today to build a slick application to analyze some data and present it using the built-in templates. So let's take a look at how you do that. So first of all, I have this database called Terminal, and I have that all set up, and I have a element range index already set up on this particular database. So if we scroll down and take a look at that, we have this element range, and the element range is set up on total capacity. In addition to that index, I also have a spatial geospatial index set up. And if we click on the element pair, you can see that the element pair is uh, pairing together the two elements, lat and long, so that we can do our mapping uh, with that geospatial data. So let's go ahead and uh, click on the MarkLogic application and go to the terminal in the application builder, and we'll go through all of the different options that we have available to build the application. So first we have the constraints and facets and you can see that the system knows that we have two indexes, our geospatial index and our range index for terminal and total capacity and it displays those immediately for us. And then it gives us the opportunity to assemble and configure our application. So first we're going to assemble the map information and the map, we uh, have the opportunity to give it a title. We set up the facet as terminal. I'm going to set this just as a pin map. And then I'm also going to choose a uh, column chart widget. And in the column chart, we're going to chart the uh, total capacity. So we're going to measure the count. And we're going to label the facet total capacity and count. And then for results, we want to display the name, the contact, and the data updated. We want to sort that by relevance as well as total capacity. And then as far as content goes, we have some information here that I've already filled in for the content. And then we get to choose how we want the application to look. So I'm going to set up the uh, um, column or the heading as terminal, just uh, standard text. I'm going to use one of the standard built-in skins, but I could choose to customize this with my own CSS. And using your own CSS, you can then make the application look and feel like all the other applications within your enterprise. So that's a great way to be able to take advantage of the application builder and yet apply your own look and feel to it. Lastly, we're going to go ahead and deploy here. So when we the deploy the application, it's going to go through, take all of the information that we've put together and uh, build that into an application. And when that's complete, it will display the application on the screen for us. And so here we have our terminal application. We see our title terminal, our total capacity broken out, our map information, as well as our chart information for uh, total capacity, and then lastly, the data. But one look at this, and this uh, total capacity here kind of stands out for me, and it looks like there are several records, 66 as a matter of fact, that have no total capacity. So it could be a data issue, or could be uh, terminals that aren't online yet, but I'd like to know where those terminals are. And short of drilling into the map, uh, I'd rather have the, have the system do it for me. So the way we can do that is by adding another index. So if we go here to element range index, notice we have our total capacity index, but let's go ahead and add one for country as well. So country is of type string, and we're going to add the name country. We don't need to change anything else. Click OK, and that's all we need to do to add that additional index. And you can see we have total capacity as well as the index for country. Now when we go back to our application, we have to go back to the beginning to uh, have it refresh. And it needs to resample. So when we resample, it's reading from the server, and it's going to let us know that we have a new index. So here is our country 
in addition to the terminal and total capacity indexes that we or constraints and facets that we already had. We don't really need to change anything else, so um, we can flip through these tabs, but there's really no need. All we need to do is flip over to Deploy, click on Deploy, click OK, and the application is being built in this open application builder window. And when the application is updated with our new information, the application will display on the screen. And we'll be able to see not only the total capacity, but the country for each of those uh, elements as well. And so when we click on total capacity, now we can see of those 66, they're broken out into these different countries. If we click on Russia, we can see the countries that, uh, that uh, or the terminals within that country, and then click on those, and then drill in one more time, and we can see each of the terminals that uh, have no total capacity information. So I hope you found that helpful. I think uh, the Application Builder is a very powerful tool within the MarkLogic tool set, and uh, I hope that uh, uh, you'll continue to play around with MarkLogic and make it a great day.